and Patsy Rodenberg has just been given the newly created vocal tracks. Oh goodness, that's, um, that's very interesting. This is a human, this is a human throat. This is a Neanderthal and it's very squat. Probably the voice would be higher. So, Elliot, let's try male human voice, count over three. One, two, three. Just pitch up your voice. One, two, three. Now, we might have an idea that a macho sound is quite low, but, but that might be very useful. But it gets even more complex. Let's just add a bit of nasal now. One, two, three. Now, the other thing that would be happening that would actually increase that quality is a very heavy skull that would pull down into the throat there. Now, add to that the fact that they had a fantastic chest, which is a support system of breath, which can produce enormous chest resonance and tremendous power. So I imagine they wouldn't have subtle sounds. It would be loud, very loud, or very, very loud. And we can try and get that by... I'm now going to engage Elliot by pushing to me. This is getting him right into his body. Now speak. One, two, three! Now let's make a, a sound. Let's just make a huge R. Ah! And again. So the skeleton had shown that our Neanderthal wasn't just big-brained, he also might well have spoken. <laughs> 